no neurodivergence. Well, it's about, it, well, you know, a, a, a peer advocate of mine, Prue Stevenson, has said recently that autism and neurodivergent actually is everyone's territory. So everyone here is neurodivergent. We don't experience the day exactly the same as each other. We have different biology, chemistry, experiences, memories, cultures, everything that we will move through this same day with different perceptions. So that's what neurodivergence is. I find um, public policy a little bit problematic from my point of view because um, our lived experience of of diverse mental health, which includes schizophrenia and bipolar and, and let's just call it complex trauma, so we give our lived experience and our living experience advice, you know, and that's often um, through a very narrow doorway. And then it goes into governance and policy and research and academia and it gets twisted and tumbled and put over there and put over there and shoved over there and pulled out here. And then it comes back at us and, you know, (laughs) And an example of it is recently um, the Victorian government did a royal commission into the mental health system. And when it started, they put a call out for people with lived experience um, of the public mental health system, which is public psych wards and homelessness and all this stuff, for advice on what the new mental health system could, should look like. And we were given a link to a website and we had to go and register on the website. And then on the website, there were seven building blocks that the government had already predetermined of what a new mental health system would look like. And it was things like suicide prevention, um, better security in psych wards, um, youth prevention of mental health. And so all of us from around the country had to put those seven building blocks in order of our priorities. There was not a single block about the arts, nothing about nature, nothing about culture, cultural diversity, language mode, so nothing about deaf people's language, nothing about disability access, all these things that we'd been giving over for the last 20 or 30 years to research and academia and government just didn't come back at us. So I think um, I'm very good at going off on tangents and getting a little bit angry, sorry. (laughs) But it is frustrating. 